And I think um, all of you will have access to all the panelists here, even after we are done. So please feel free to talk to all of them. I mean, um, you have Ardesia Pacific's, you know, editor and publisher right here to talk about any, you know, forums on writing or curatorial practice, education abroad, or get hold of him <laughs> in the home ground and make sure, you know, there uh, he he and other people in this room can make a difference to the art scene here. Please. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm the Italian ambassador here. I've been involved in, uh, in the art scene a little bit. Uh, and I think that it would be important and very useful for the artists here to be very honest with them and try to sort of separate an ideal uh, uh, landscape from, from the reality. For example, you were mentioning that it would be very useful to have a curator from outside coming here for three months uh, and, and create a show. Of course, it would be uh, an ideal uh, step, but we know that a quality curator will not come here for three months. Therefore, I think that for the Bangladesh art scene, on one hand, it should be very it would be very important to uh, try to, to use, it's a bad word, but to use and to utilize the, their artists that have been uh, working and living abroad. And, they, and, and then they came back here. Muni was an example, one is another example. We have a few of them. And I think that the experience that they got in Europe or in the States for a few years could be very useful here. So I think that they should be somehow integrated even in the fine arts and in the universities to, to really to, to give their experience and to teach to the students here how the how the Western art market uh, works. <clears throat> On the other end, uh, for example, as, as Italy were last year we tried to encourage them, uh, we encourage Bangladesh to participate in the Venice Biennale, it will be done again next year uh, because Bangladesh already uh, and formally told us that they are going uh, to Venice again. Uh, again, we have to be very honest with the artists. To go in the international art scene, it's a, it's a painful experience. It's not a, a, a wonderful experience. Because if they face with the international market, they will realize that there are not 1,000 artists that are at the international level. There are maybe two, three, ten, maybe. But, but that's, the, that's the game. So I think that it's very important that we encourage them in, in every possible way. But I think that at the same time it's very important that we tell them what is the, the reality that they're going to face. They have to work hard. I've known many artists here which are good artists, but in my opinion they do not work as hard as they should. They have to go, uh, they have to be very determined. They, they, they don't have to stop at the local market. If they want to be at international level, uh, it's their effort. They, they cannot wait for somebody to come from outside, and pick them up and, uh, and put them in local in Europe. It's their task. Thank you very much. It was a very encouraging work. And to Bangladesh, and let us get all the best here. That's the future. Thank you.